Thiebaud from General Hospital, winner of Outstanding Supporting supporting Performance in a Daytime Drama Series Actress. Yay. Congratulations. Nice. Awesome. It happened. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Have you gotten a text yet from your brother? <laughs> I can't wait to get that text. He's really going to laugh. We actually talked about it last night. We were FaceTiming and I was asking him, like, what should I say in my speech? I have no idea. And I was like, oh, I should actually say about how you told me that I'm not a good actress. And um, he laughed. So he'll, he'll think it's really funny. That's cool. Has it sunk in? No. Not at all. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I'm, like, overwhelmed. Was there anyone that you didn't thank that you want to add now? Oh, my gosh. So many people. My manager, Mark Schumacher, who has been with me for from the beginning of my career, um, Frank Valentini, the directors, the writers, um, the actors that I worked with last year, they're all phenomenal. Um, the fans, the fans, the fans, the fans. I love our fans so much, and they've supported my character throughout all of her craziness, so. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Rich had a storyline with a disease that she thought might be hereditary. Um, when you first found out about that part of the storyline, what was your reaction? Um, I was, I was, it was a big responsibility. I actually um, was nervous because Huntington's is such a tragic, terrible, sad disease that a lot of people have to deal with. And I was, I was honored to get to tell a little bit of their story and hopefully I get to tell a little more. Okay. Hi, thank you. How are you? I'm good, good. I mean, I have to ask, going from Day to get as love is gone to now winning a daytime Emmy Award. How, really, what's going through your head right now? You I already just, said it, but. Yeah, I mean, like I said on stage, I had no plans to be an actor when I first moved out to Los Angeles. And so to be here today, and it took a lot of hard work and a lot of years, so it didn't happen overnight, but it's just crazy. This journey has just been so insane from the moment I moved here to now. And, um, I'm overwhelmed, and again, like, so grateful that people loved my work, so, yeah. Last question, Scott. What did you think you were going to do when you moved to Los Angeles? I had no idea. I was modeling at the time. Um, I moved here when I was 17, and I, I'm from a really small town, so I, I honestly had no clue. I just wanted to get out of my small town, and I had an opportunity, and I took it, and I, and I told myself I was just going to figure things out, and I, I guess I did. <laughs>